Hello everyone, Pally Time here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We still find ourselves residing in the lower city of Baldur's Gate. This area is absolutely massive. Oh, I think I just found a cave. Oh, I think I just found a cave because of our pan. That's cool. I have no idea where to go in this city. I am completely overwhelmed. We know about the big bad evil guy's plot. We also heard a rumor in the last episode of a missing child and we ended up investigating that case and solving it. But what my overall goal in this city, how I go from point A to point B, which is where we are now to stopping the big bad evil guy is completely out of my grasp. So these episodes might start to seem a little weird, I've always tried to have a nice beginning, middle, and end with every single episode. I don't know if you guys noticed that about me. It's a very big theme here. However, as we are exploring this city and just getting a little bit of information here and there, I don't know if I can keep doing that. We are starting today's episode over here by this abandoned house. We were told that the Temple of Baal is somewhere inside this city, but it is hidden and no one knows its interests, or at least Gortash? Yes, at least Gortash didn't know where the entrance was. However, if you look around this building, there are no visible entryways. It does look like there's a doorway right, right there, but there's no other way of entering this building. And that made me suspicious. So I thought we would start today's video off by going in this place and just seeing what it is. Hopefully we learn a little bit more about this city as we go and we can fall oh perception check successful it's a stone wall with medium toughness we might be able to break it down if we need to difficulty class of 25 to get in here that is a very tough lock we roll a 12 uh, yep just barely just barely look at that so we're kicking off today's adventure beyond this door I have no idea where I'm going or what we will see today. But thank you guys as always for being here. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And without any further ado, does this look like an evil murder temple? Oh, there is a lever here. That's probably how that door is supposed to be open. This is the Phil Grave Mansion. And I thought I heard some dialogue in here. Oh, that's a wonky camera. Another locked door up here. The double door on the bottom floor is not locked, so I'm gonna start with that. Oh, it looks like, wait, there might be undead in here? You do not have an appointment. Is this the doctor's office? What possible reason could you have to enter the presence of mystic <laughs> Very well spoken for someone whose lips are that dry. Uh, are you some kind of fortune teller, friend? I am not. I am a spirit medium. One capable of bridging the void between the living and the unliving. This plane and the next. You do not possess the aptitude to attempt such a journey. Nor are you the caliber of client I would usually offer to escort. You're making a lot of assumptions over here. What kind of clients do you accept? Only a very select few, taken from the highest reaches of society. He gets I paid well. I find them to be far more appreciative of my services than the average mourner and far more generous in paying for them. Call that. And what do your services actually involve, Mystic Carrion? Whatever the customer desires, or at least whatever they can afford. Each brings their own desperation. Some crave a word of solace. Some wish to see, to summon, to torment. I provide for them all according to their merit. You are not deserving of such a gift. Unless you have some other purpose here, our consultation is at an end. Unless, of course, you are looking for a job. Oh, well, why did you take so long to get to that? You have anything I can do for you? Yeah. 
I love looking at my back. <laughs> my spirits stir. They think you might be capable. Very well. You may help me with a small matter. I have an assistant, Thrumbo. Thrumbo. A conduit I used to maintain my connections with the ethereal plane. Unfortunately, he has deserted his duties. He has not gone far, but given the sensitivity of his nature, I would prefer that he is not free to roam the city. Return Thrombo's body to me, and I will see that you are suitably compensated. His, his body? You want me to return his body? Yeah, number two, his body. It sounds like you want him killed? My child, that would be asking the impossible. He is already dead. Oh. He is... Uh, what do they call them here? Ah, a zombie. We're very familiar with those. I rescued from the jaws of death and gave a second chance at earthly purpose. If he does not value the gift I gave in reanimating that wretched flesh of his, then I will take it back. It is my property, not his. Baldur's Gate is a big city, my dude, and a name is not a lot to go on. Had I thought you were the type to shout his name from the rooftops, <laughs> I would never have offered you the job. Thrumbo is not alone in his ingratitude. He has led others in my service astray. Three of them, beggars and zombies alike. The others lack even Thrombo's modicum of intelligence. It should be no great task to wring his location from one of them. Well, you got a deal, bud. Then... With the spirits here in our witnesses, the arrangement is made. They will follow your progress with great interest, as will I. Zen did not look super good about that. <laughs> like when he said they would be following me, he didn't look very good. Well, all right, dude, I'll get out there. I'll try to find your guy. What level is this guy? Level 12. He is tough. I mean, I can't really judge someone for having a zombie as an assistant. You guys may remember, we do uh, a lot of summoning here in our group of zombies, or at least we used to. Uh, I'm gonna try to pick this lock. I don't think there's any witnesses. What if the guy's just sitting up here upstairs and he didn't know? We're through with a 25. Some candles knocked over. Oh, someone got really mad and broke some chairs. Hey, bud. Not allowed up. Must go down. Customers downstairs. Okay, I'm gonna take that warning and I'm gonna leave. Thank you, friend. Not trying to get in trouble with some guy that can raise the dead. That's not me. What do you want me to do? This is what I mean about the game just being like, all right, go find it. There's a not a linear path at all. This is a very open area part of the game, which does make it super fun to explore. But how am I supposed to find three zombies in a city this size, this dense? I suppose I start by checking the dark alleys along the way. I do seem to remember there being an undead. Why are these guys wearing masks? Wait, what's going on over here? Shouldn't go wandering in dark alleys. I knew it. Very dangerous hobby. Gets people killed. Is that a threat? Carry away, good book, before I crush you. Perception check failed. I just want to have a quick look around. What's the harm? Harm can be anywhere you like. Nose, kneecaps, fingernails. I'm gonna see if I can detect thoughts. We should be able to do that, no problem. Let's add in a guidance. It's only a difficulty 10. We got a 19. 
Is he singling me out or is this his territory? That's what I'm really trying to get to the bottom of here. Bloody dark old sense. Getting paid to lurk in our guild hall. Never work for it. Guarding the secret entrance. Not good enough for them, but good enough for poor old Tusk. Oh. Secret entrance, huh? Oh, Detect Thoughts has a follow-up. I come from Darkhold. I'm here to join the Zintharum inside. Another one come to take our coin and clog our halls. Fine, I'll show you in. Nine Fingers will give you orders. I think we've heard the name Nine Fingers, be fingers before, but I don't recall. In you go. Hey, nicely okay, done. So this is a revealed entrance to what? Well, let's find out. Beneath the gate, Karlak has been inspired. Neither of you are nine fingers, right? Bro, there's a bunch of people inside of here. This almost looks like the Thieves Guild, maybe? The Guild Hall Bar. Seems like there is a lot of people up here. Double doors. Is this where the guild leader is? Lady Lockjaw, nine fingers bodyguard. Oh, this is looking good. There she is. Hello. It's an orphanage, Ukta. What would you have me do? Seize their toys as payment? Well, they fail to pay tribute. We should withdraw our protection, at the very least. And cede more ground to the Stone Lord. <laughs> You're not suggesting I yield a single inch of the city, my city, to this cult. Cult of the Absolute? <laughs> we already look weak. If you're seen to be forgiving debts... I didn't say forgive. Seize the building. Are many children old enough? If they protect what's mine, we'll consider that a start on what's owed. Yes, Guildmaster. I... Excuse me? This is a private council. Keep your underpants clean, Ukta. We're playing host to a hero. Oh, you know who I am? Reports of Ketherick Thorm, General of the Absolute, Champion of Merkel, Unkillable Tyrant of Moonrise. Meet the one who killed him. Wow, word got out quick. And your nine fingers, I'm not going to attempt to say that name, Keeney? The Guildmaster. A little less impressive as revelations go. Oh, she has Guild literally nine fighting, fingers. I hope. The guild keeps watch for anyone of interest passing through our gates. I'd say you qualify. I already know the one thing about you that I need to. What's that? You've crossed paths with the cult's leadership before, and you're still standing. I mean to burn the absolute from the face of my city. So if you mean to help, congratulations. We just became the best of friends. Oh, that's interesting. It seems as though they are making people pay them protection money. Now, is that a long-standing thing or is that new since the Absolute has endangered the city? We've run into some guild members before. They were basically saying they were hired to protect a caravan. And they were like, hey, if you want us to go into your house and get these squatters out of your house, that's going to be a different rate from the guild. So it seems like all mercenary work all crime maybe in this city runs through these halls at least we've been able to put that together so far uh what can i do to help you i am very interested in killing the absolute but i don't want to replace them with another bad thing i was planning to soften you up a bit first but straight to business then <sighs> of all the pains in my ass the absolute was delivered one in particular keeps growing. A new gang boss who calls himself the Stone Lord. We've encountered the Stone Lord, too. Who didn't like paying guild dues, fair enough. But he and his crew make no demands. Leave no survivors to pass on a message. All I know is that on every scrap of ground he takes from me, the cult of the Absolute soon starts sprouting. Okay. We came across a smuggling op operation from this guy down on the beach. His men attacked me. He, they actually killed Zen. Zen had to be resurrected for the first time in like 40 hours. So I do think I'd be holding a little bit of a grudge to these guys and it seems like they're working with the Absolute. You, do you think he's a cultist? He's a prick, whoever he prays to. 
We know where he plans to it next. A little operation the Guild have run in the city's counting house. Likely my crew has it in hand. Snare set, ready to draw it tight. But I like a little certainty. And you've dealt with bigger bastards handily enough. The Guild has an operation inside the city's bank? That's wild. Might be more accurate to say the Guild is the city's bank. We bought them out years back. Perfectly legitimate. As I said, I like a little certainty. Wow. Man, nothing in this game has ever been black and white, is it? It's like, now that we find out that Ballers Gate is run by criminals and they even own the bank. But if they're operating the bank like it's supposed to be operated, then I mean, that's not a bad thing, right? They just happen to own the bank. Uh, I'll head over and check it out. Obliged. Shouldn't pose any problem for you. In return, if I can offer aid, information, just ask. I need everything. Why do why do I need the guild? I've been doing well enough for by, by myself so far. You know what? No. This could be perfect. If she can give me information. Knowing what I know usually comes at a cost. But let's say we'll put it on your tab. This city is so overwhelming. I would love to be able to have a contact to just answer questions for me. Like, where do I go to see those sentinels that I can get the heart of Karlak replaced at? We heard a little bit about that. I have no idea where to go for that. Who is the Stone Lord that has your guild running scared? The leader of some new crew that's intent on paining my ass. If he was just another upstart who didn't like paying guild dues for... All I know is that on every scrap of ground... Doesn't matter. Whatever God the prick prays to, I'll send him to meet it soon enough. How is it you know so much about the Cult of the Absolute and its leaders? Simple enough. After Jahira warned me and then disappeared, I went to <laughs> the cult for myself. Uh oh. I'll bore you with the details. How I found evidence of Gortash's projects, traced him to Orin the Red, and made a safe bet there was some dried out old necromancer to round out the three. Because it's always the dead, bloody three. Has been half gods who can't help but make their irrelevance everyone else's problem. There's more to it than just the dead three. Do we tell her that? Let's tell her that. Oh. You've got some juicy little tidbit I haven't heard yet. Tell her everything, the enslaved elder brain and the astral prison. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I'm not going that far yet. I'm going to leave. We're going to keep that information close to the chest for the time being. Well, well, well. At least we're joining a legitimate industry now. We can we can ask people for guild rates and everything. <laughs> you know, one thing that Oblivion had was the Thieves Guild. And the Thieves Guild got all of their information from their ears on the ground, which was usually the homeless population of each city. That was their network of ears. And I'm wondering if that's a similar situation here. I believe this is the bank right here. Yes, indeed. Find the Stone Lord at the counting house. So the Stone Lord is inside somewhere. And the big brain is angry. We have tremors yet again. Now, if this place is just a regular bank, we should be able to walk right through the front door. Okay, now the back door might be a little harder. Mate, he was nervous. Should we talk to a teller? Is there anyone who looks like they might be working for the guild that we could touch base with? It seems like it's just a bunch of guards. Well, the guards would know, right? The cash guard basher Mofti. Slow and usual today. You might be better off sticking your coin under your mattress. Oh, okay. Well, we're not getting in there. This place does have a lot of guards. An alarm machine as well. Uh-oh. <laughs> and if these guys are running the bank. Okay, we're gonna split we're gonna split our party. Well the camera here is not very forgiving, is it? Alright, Zen's gonna see what kind of trouble he can get himself into. At the top of these stairs, let's go ahead and turn off this light. 
I might be able to hide in this hallway. It looks like I can, if I'm on those stairs, at least. Let's crouch down and open this door and back up. Guards inside. I wasn't supposed to touch that door. The head clerk's office. Wait a minute. If they're not patrolling... <laughs> If shit does hit the fan, I could put a silence around the alarm machine and then it wouldn't make any noise. If it comes down to that, so far so good. They haven't spotted me. Standing at attention. We see the doors a 20. I don't have guidance this time. We roll a 13. That'll roll up to a 26 with our modifiers. Step to the side, open it up. Step to the side. Head clerk's office. Is there no one inside? Close the door. We have Baldur's Mouth Gazette, counting the house accounts, a bank pass. <gasps> that could be good. So I can't read the bank pass, but I can pick it up. When it's in my inventory, does it say anything interesting? Grants access to the vaults below the counting house. I literally just got a ticket that lets me go in. At first glance, this appears to be a standard log of counting house accounts. However, a poorly concealed correction reveals the money is being diverted. The logs, the logs have been signed off by a glitter bear, the head banker. Uh, I'm going to take that with me. I'm going to take this with me too. What does the Gazette say right now? Oh, this is cool. Does this update as we continue to play through the game? Oh, very interesting. I'm taking that with me. That was another thing that happened in Oblivion. They would uh, constantly be updating the newspaper in the Imperial City and talking about the events that you did. Well, sneaking over to that side is going to be impossible. This seems a little cheesy, but if I turn off these lights, I should be able to stand. Account holders only oh. from here. Vault pass? Oh yes, a vault pass. Here it is. Right. <clears throat> Descend and know. Upon entering the vaults, you forego the protection of city and church law alike. City Which and say, church law. Keeps your own vault and you'll be fine. Roger that. Thank you very much, team. Assemble. <laughs> I was going to try to just open the door. I was going to go invisible right there and open the door since they couldn't see us. So in here, there are no laws. Am I understanding what she said right? Well, there's a private stash over here. Man, there's so much talking upstairs. I find the noise of this city to be very distracting at times. Maybe I'm just simple country folk. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We roll a 24 to open a chest, leaning up against the wall. The private stash has inside an amulet of restoration, scroll of daggers, 800 gold, and a ton of potions. One of them's an invisibility potion. Holy crap. I do not feel what if I just take everything? There's so much here. What if I just take everything? Well, that's a good start. We're going to bring everyone with us and head to the other side. There is one more stack of scrolls over here. I'm fighting the camera at the moment. Was that a detect thoughts? I believe it was. Uh, I'm going to open the double doors and hope that there's no stairs on the other side. Hey, there we go. We can see again. Okay, there is a witness in here, so I won't be touching that. Is this the real vault that way? So what's behind this door, I wonder? They don't have sight over there. Zin breaks off. Never wanted the easy path. Uh, I'm not supposed to touch the door. Ooh, this is where they get shipments from. Wow, they even have alarms out here and even more chests out here, too. Okay, we'll close that. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Uh, I'm going to talk to the teller, I guess. Mind your manners down here, sir. Titles don't mean much once you're in the vault. It feels like if they're really trying to set the scene that it's kind of a free for all down here. What did we perceive, I wonder? They're really trying to set the scene that it's a free-for-all down here. I wonder if 
We're gonna have a big fight. So there's a hole. I think I saw a hole. Jesus, the camera in here is just awful. Oh my God. I saw another hole in the office. Maybe that would have allowed us to travel down here if we could like turn into a mouse or something. But that ain't me. Stand tall. We're not sneaking. Here we go. Right through to the other side. Just need to see your vault pass, please. Sure, no problem at all. Here you are. Books in order. Blessed day to you. Blessed day to you as well. They are so nice here. That's curious. That is curious. I'm fine to step on that, right? We're allowed in here. So we're just noticing some of the traps that could have been armed, but are not armed. The vault door. Oh, we just go straight through to the other side. Oh, it seems a lot quieter down here. I like that. I am I am a fan. Looks like Bloris, Mead Honey, Cynthia, Born Prof, and Rakath Glitterbeard have not declared reasons for visit to give the Stone Lord a tour of the lower vaults. So the Stone Lord was 100% here. And we also know that he has a smuggling ring. Oh, this place is cool. I should not be trusted in a place like this. There's just no way. Customer notice. Refrain from entering until a staff member has opened the way for you. Well, I don't think anyone's gonna open the way for me. Oh! I got teleported back. So the middle of the room is trapped. At least it didn't set off an alarm. Is this area the same way? Right in the middle? No, it doesn't look like it. Wooden chest. None of these are openable. Please wait here. A staff member will retrieve your items. However, could you shadow step to the other side, maybe? I could theoretically, if it's dark enough. <gasps> We've never successfully done that before. That was my first time shadow step worked for me. And it's got me right next to some bank vaults. Well, I'm going to pick this lock. This is just a chest right outside. This shouldn't be too hard. 15 gets us in no problem. What's inside this? 95 gold. But what about the real deal? Safe number one. It's a difficulty of 20. We roll a 27. Oh my God, I'm robbing this blank. Oh my God, they're not gonna have anything left. Nothing, they will have nothing. I have a few of these water bottles I can throw. I'm gonna start chucking them around to maybe get the light in this area dwindled a bit. If there are more shadows, I can just shadow step over to the other side. Oh, I can already do it. So I can go here. That's perfect. Then from here, we should just have to throw maybe two more water bottles up to the top. One on this one here and one in the center. Those two on the other side might still be hindering us, but I'll figure it out. How's that looking? Not enough space. Ooh, perfect. Who would have thought that water would have been pivotal in this grand larceny? Not me. 29 gets the next vault open. What's inside? Ooh, 500 gold on the ground and then some pictures. So from about this necklace up <laughs> is everything I've looted in these two vaults. Holy moly. Man, I thought a plus two weapon would be really, really good. But it seems like the corpse grinder that Karlak has is still a better weapon for her. Onward and upward. What's this in here? This plaque leads to the what for looks door codes, please refer to the head banker's office. For... Highest security clearance only. Please refer to the head banker's office. I think I was in there. You don't think I can just pick this, do you? Now. A 99. So no, no, it doesn't look like I can pick it. Refer to the head banker's office. 
So is that right? Okay, it looks like there's gonna be four codes. That one's right. Well, this shouldn't be that hard. Just trial and error. You know what? I'm not gonna brute force the door. I've decided. Bareback tape. Head banker's office is on the other side. Oh, this is getting more complicated. Zen is going to drink a potion of invisibility. This will give me 10 turns to move. We shouldn't need to sneak for this. We can move right over to the other side of the guards. That might be worth a look. Don't know what we saw. I'm going to sneak here and try to open this door. That will bring me out of invisibility, most likely. We roll a 22. It needed a 20. Uh, door is open, and we enter. Now, if I were the... Oh, there's another hole. If I were the head security code, where would I be? A compendium of dwarf history recorded the shifting fortunes of clans and kingdoms over centuries. There are pages of dates, nothing important, noting important battles, births, and deaths. One in particular, 1356, is circled with a note scribbled underneath. In this year, Bruner Battlehammer did face the shadow dragon Shimmergloom, slaying the beast and claiming his rightful place as the eighth king of Mithril Hall. Don't forget to change the code in a 10 days. So the code is 1356. Uh, am I allowed on this floor? To be honest, I am not sure. So with an abundance of caution, we are going to drink an an another invisibility potion and scurry back into the vaults with haste well do you think these are the same as roman numerals whatever comes I'm ready. oh oh i hit the wrong one so one and then three if these are the same got to press on there's two correct i'm glad i didn't brute force this five perfect and Karlak is going to make it six. We're in. What's inside? Well, it looks like this goes even deeper. This is a passageway down and the game just saved. You know, that's never a good thing. One gold piece on that statue. Curious. This is the big vault here. It's still moving. Hush your fussing. Nine Fingers had this one made especially. Hello, Marvel. We'll barely slow it down. But the stories. Stories. Tall tales and big names, lad. Don't let them fool you. Elminster the Archmage. Drist the Drow Exile. Heroes have power eye. But not half so much as we do. A little coin into the right purse. A soft word in the right ear. It's not glory that spins these planes, lad. It's gold. See? No. It's another mimic! Moradin's cracked clay. What on earth? Oh. <laughs> there is no gold in here. <sighs> If there is one thing Minsk hates more than beasts with bad breath. Whoa! It is those who are tricksome with the truth. And turnips. But you are no turnip. 
Let that be of comfort in your final moments. Well, I didn't expect to find this in here. Oh my gods. I'm gonna faint. <laughs> uh, step into view or do nothing. I'm gonna step into view. Hey! You. The Absolute has shown me your face, villain. I will beat it into a more pleasing shape. Enough play, Stone Lord. The Absolute has other plans for this one. Oh my god, things are not going well. Nine Fingers set a poor trap, little banker. Let the Absolute's faithful show you how it is done. So, to be clear, that's... Now come, Stone Lord. We have the gold. And the Absolute has need of it elsewhere. As you say, Jahira. Jahira was one of the people that died at the last Hope Chapel, risk. right? Now they take Jahira's face. Does their malice have no limit? Right, dude? Wait, who are we fighting? These are the guards of this place, as well as Death Hand of Ball, Fiona, Invoker of Ball. This could be the clue we need to go to the Temple of Ball. Oh, some of them are very, very close to us. I didn't even spot them there. Uh, Karlak is going to Frenzy! Then, she's gonna have to, uh, I can't even push Will out of the way. Some, for some reason this makes me even angrier. There's no one in fucking range of me either! Did you really? Hold on, oh, we're free, we're free, we're free! Hammer's out. Oh, I can't harm because of Sanctuary. So I can only hurt them if they attack me. Well, that spoiled my entire plan. They move directly for Zen with 20 damage on the first swing. Zen's gonna try to charm the target. The charm does not work. They saved the check. However, they don't have Sanctuary right now. Critical miss. I'm gonna try to charm again. There we go. Now he can't attack me anymore. At least that's one of them that can't. They just immediately move to Shadowheart instead. She tries to bash them onto the ground, but it does not work. Meanwhile, another one of Ball's assassins on the far side of the room throws something at Glitterbeard in the center. Is, was the guy that came out of the Mimic, the Stone Lord? That all happened so fast. I'm not sure if I kept up with it. We're gonna try Shield Blow again. There we go, finally making the target prone. It's Zen's turn now. He's gonna be going for a sneak attack. First one with his brand new weapon. It hits for 31 damage. We're gonna follow that up with another swing and that target is dead. Now Zen is thinking about trying to get to the middle where those guys are to help out. I do have some questions. For now, I'm gonna move up to the side here and do a flurry of blows. God, that is so crazy good. And then I'm gonna to start to make my way around to the right. Zen is missing a little bit of HP, so we don't wanna to be too adventurous, but he should be fine. 16 damage done to Glitterbeard in the center. Another 16 as a knife drives itself back into his back. And there a stun is going to stop him from being able to do anything on his turn. A stunning gaze being cast by another one of the ball assassins off to the right side of the room. Stuns another one of the bodyguards in the center. And they're just, they're, what are they throwing, rocks? It doesn't even seem like it's dealing a lot of damage. This is one of the bank guards. They're finally fighting back, or at least trying to. That shot does not land on target. However, that second one does. She then runs over to try to help us with the currently prone assassin at our feet. And she only does three damage to it, but does cause the target to be off balance. Now an invoker of ball in the back corner. That's a massive slow in that area. Uh, Will, uh, Will is going to cast a hex onto the death's head of ball. Then we're going to fire off a triple Eldritch Blast right there. Let me go ahead and make sure our passive knockback is off and it is. So here we go, triple Eldritch Blast onto this target. Should be big damage. 
It wasn't. That's okay. We are going to quicken that spell and fire it off again if I can. Or did I already use my bonus action? That's why I can't. I could action surge here just to try to get more damage out. I'm going to do that. I'm very afraid of this guy dying before we could talk to him. Much more like it, Will. That's the damage we want to see. Target's almost dead. Let's see what this cash guard can do. Oh, just missing with that swing as they sidestep. You got another one in the chamber, right? No, it doesn't look like they do. Uh, Shadowheart doesn't seem to have a... Oh, she's out of level one spell slots. I was going to do Enhanced Leap and try to get me down there, but that doesn't look like it's an option. Could I potentially cast Guardian of Faith? That's too far away as well. Okay, Shadowheart's jumping from the rafters. She didn't go prone. I'm proud of her. Now she is going to cast Guardian of Faith just behind. Let's even upcast it. That sounds fun. Uh, maybe we don't need to. There's only one enemy there. Uh, but I'm going to place it right next to this guy who's taking a bunch of damage. So if the assassin here does strike back, he will at least be countered attacked by the Guardian of Faith. And there we go. 10 damage starting that off. Only 17 remaining on that target. Karlak is pissed. She's going to swing once. That's going to kill off that target. And then she might jump to this other side. I believe there's one more caster over here, although I can't see them right now. Uh, I'll just continue to rush down to the bottom area here. Uh, with the rest of her turn, can I throw anything that might be useful? It looks like I can get some fire on that guy. Also going to do a little bit to our guardian potentially, but no, it looks like that was thrown really, really well. We'll go ahead and end our turn there. Ah, uh, was he invisible? There he goes, leaving stealth, lacerating Karlak, only doing three damage on his turn so far. Wow, that is sad to see. I'm thinking about bonus actioning to maybe get a little more distance here. We already have a ton of movement, but yeah, let's do a bonus action dash. That'll get me cruising down this back alley here. I am slightly worried that Zen might be a bit overextended. If I get focused on this side, that's not gonna be fun. But let's see how this goes. I don't think I can sneak attack, so let's just swing. Uh, withering Cut, I could do that as my bonus action. I'm not gonna do that. Not gonna do that again. Wow, she's not taking a lot of damage, are they? Well, that ends my turn. We do see another attack happening. Is it because this guy's out of the area that we can't help him? They're stunned now. Man, I thought that guardian was placed a bit better. Lacerate being used on Zen hits for 18. That's the same thing that hit Karlak for one. I tried to charm, but the tadpole had no effect on my attacker. They go back in for another 18. Will the charm work this time? Thankfully it does. I can only take one more attack like that before I fall. The charm does cause them to walk away and turn their attentions on to Glitterbeard, who we're still trying to protect in the middle. This fucking idiot guard just pushed the guy out of my area of effect and is now doing nothing. What? What? What kind of a turn was that? What kind of a turn was that? 12 damage being done from one of the bankers onto the left side. This is the guy who jumped out against Karlak earlier. If this spear runs towards Zen, that is gonna be bad news, but we see it go towards Glitterbeard as a big AOE happens. All right, well, we cannot see too much with Will, can we? I could potentially do a distant spell, maybe upcast a magic missile. We could get damage in on that target that's been bothering Zen over on the other side too. We could get damage in on that Karlak person, the person behind Karlak. Oh, uh, what we could do instead. Let me see if I even need the distance spell for this. We can curve the bullet around this pillar with magic missile to take down the target closest to them. Because it never misses, it moves around the pillar and kills off that target. Uh, Will is then going to very gracefully glide down to the middle of the room and end his turn. Here we go. Now the guards are moving in. Oh, the vault is open. I don't think I realized that. Uh, we are going to see Shadowheart just take a step to the side and cast a level four heal onto Glitterbeard. I want to question this guy. It's important to me that he's still standing at the end of this. 
Unfortunately, our protector's not going to do anything, but Karlak turns around on this guy that tried to stab her last turn. First swing hits for 18. The second, made it reckless, hits for another 17. Karlak's then going to jump into the center of the room inside of the Guardian's range here. Well, so Zen, not feeling peace. too good about his last turn, is at least going to end things a little differently. Uh, this is my action if I do. Man, I kind of wish I had action surge. That's so nice on Will. That's so nice. Well, as my bonus action, I'm going to start with a flurry of blows. Big damage there. I feel okay about that. And then I'm going to put a smoke cloud down. So this person can't see me anymore, and I'm hoping that will mess up their turn a decent amount. I'm also going to place it on this person at the bottom, hoping that that ruins their ability to land some of their attacks. Carlac's turn is ended, and we'll see how this plays out. They are dashing out of the smoke cloud. Dash is their action, unless they're a rogue. It looks like stunning gaze being used on Glitterbeard yet again, but no action this time because of that blind. Perfect. Glitterbeard is using blur. That's going to make him a bit harder to hit, but then he invokes an attack of opportunity and takes 16 damage. Nine damage being shot from high above the staircase on that second level. Those shots landing true. What was that? Benign transposition. They swap places. I didn't know Nether Swap was in this game. Okay. Will sees that target moving towards the vault, and he's going to open up with a Eldritch Blast. Each of those shots connecting. He's then going to. Dis no, not Distant Spell. No, I can't even Quicken Spell either. That's it, Will. Will, you did good. We're proud of you. We're proud of you, Will. Good job. That'll end his turn. Big smite coming down. That one was blinding. Finishes off one of the assassins of Ball. And now Shadowheart is... I wanted to run forward, but it doesn't seem like I'm able to. Shadowheart is going to sprint towards the vault just to try to get in the way here. She wasn't in range to attack, so I'm hoping that we'll at least be able to get attack of opportunity. We're gonna, then going to see Karlak leap towards the remaining server of Ball. Make it reckless. We do 19 damage on the first swing, followed by another 19. Is that blood? Don't talk to me in the shadows. No. Don't do it. Never mind. Yo, you guys okay? You can tell Nine Fingers this was not my fault. She swore that Mimic could swallow a bloody owl bear. Wait. You're no guild sworn. Who are you? Well, Nine Fingers sent me down here. Don't you worry. I'm just going to say, just tell me what happened. I don't want to threaten this guy. He's working with Nine Fingers. I want to know what's going on. A oh, cunning trap just got flipped ass ways up is what? Nine Fingers wants the Stone Lord dead. With what he cleared from our vaults, he's got enough gold to make himself a lord in truth. Did they steal everything? Is that why the vault was open? What does the cult want with that much money? You think anyone told me? Nine Fingers sent word the Stone Lord was going to try his luck on our vaults. So she told me to cooperate, lure him in. Yes, sir, Stone Lord, sir. Shall we open the account in your name or the absolutes? <laughs> Just step this way to your special deposit box. Don't mind the teeth. <laughs> no one mentioned he might have some old crone dropping in as backup. As chairman of the Fellowship of Financiers, I can assure you we'd reward you well for the return of the coin he took. Not for us, you understand. For the common Baldurian. Who knows what he's planning to do with it. How much was taken? Try all of it. Every penny of civilian lodgings, anyway. Oh my god. Like we'd lead him into the private vaults. But still, Lord Baldurian's waking up poor tomorrow. What he can do with that kind of coin oh, doesn't bear thinking about. I just need to find Minsk. I don't care for the coin. I already robbed a lot from you guys. <laughs> I think I'm good. Good for you. I happen to care a very great deal. I can see why. Retrieve the coin, and I'll make sure you are well rewarded. 
There's treasures greater than gold. Feel free to poke around this place and it'll help you pick up the Stone Lord scent. Me, I've got ledgers to amend. That means forge. He's got ledgers to forge. Oh, hello. We can speak with dead. I forgot to disguise self. Regards you, lifeless. Very thankful. Very thankful. Why do you follow the stone? Where can I find the stone lord? Look out below. Look out below. Is he under the city? City under city. Oh, so as if this area wasn't big enough. Who was wearing Jahira's face? Shape. Changer. Double. Ganger. And they had the same, like, smiley face that the clown did. Where can I find Orin? She will find oh, you. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. All right, last question, right? Uh, what does the cult want with Minsk? Minsk is dead. Storm Lord lives. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Anything else in this vault? Or in the mimic, rather? There are still more high security vaults here. Hold on. <laughs> I'm going to short rest as well. Try to recover some of that HP. We will need to sleep soon. A 30 is pretty difficult to break into, even with guidance. I'm kind of eating through my thieves. Oh, that was a one. Oh, my God. Shipment loss notice. This letter is written in rough, hastily scrawl. Latest load of barrels didn't arrive. No word from Karios. Assuming the worst. Can't wait any longer. Plan must go ahead. Use what we have now. Deal with complications later. These footprints started in the sewers. These footprints started in the sewers. So the sewers may potentially lead to an underground city where... The uh, or in the red and the Lord of Stone might be working together. Do it. It's another 30. I'm trying. Uh... Oh, God. Um, there is literally another one in here. What? Well, he tried to hit Zen. We're gonna see if we can charm him. It worked. He's not gonna hit Zen anymore. Carlac's the next closest target. He takes a swing on her, hits for 14. She's not frenzying right now. The second one hits for zero. Well, he's no longer in Sanctuary. So let's deal some damage. Oh, I wish I could swing again. I wish I could. Uh, we're gonna have Will just try to move to the other side of this guy here. Make sure we form the complete body block. Guards are getting involved now too. Everyone noticing that there was still one more assassin inside of these walls. Yeah, that whole stand still and hope I don't see you plan didn't seem to work too well. These guys carry a lot of daggers on them. So we saw some footprints that seem to have led from the sewer as they entered this place. But I don't believe I found any way of getting into the sewer myself from here. I mean, that kind of does make sense. It is, of course, a bank vault. Everything from here has been taken, either by me or by the Lord of Stone. I want to check this side, too. Is there anyone else just standing around? Like, was he going to, like, continue? Look, there's another one right here. There's another one. Oh, I have an idea. Oh, never mind. He just failed the roll. <laughs> That's so bizarre. We can't attack on Karlak because of the sanctuary. We see 14 damage happening. I'm gonna not react. Oh, even more damage happening to Zen. He's taking a beating. Uh, he dodged that one though. Okay, he's gonna open up with a sneak attack. Damn! Make it withering, why not? So can I make it withering on every attack and that doesn't use my bonus action? 
It does say bonus action. I don't know. It looked like I could still do a, a, a frenzy. A flurry of blows. Well, this is a lot to think about. I'm going to start checking around outside for some city sewers that we might be able to find. That's going to do it for today's video, though. Sincerely hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And I will see you guys again very, very soon.